So I want to tell you guys a story. When I was at the gym the other day and I was working out, I see this guy out of the corner of my eye and he is beelining it to, towards me. And so he comes up and he is in my face and he's like, hey, totally caught me off guard. I was very uncomfortable. You could tell by my body language. And he was like, hey, I think you're really cute. I was like, thank you. And he was like, we should go out sometime. And I was like, I am, I'm not interested, but thanks so much. And again, my body language, I was closed off. I was really trying to get away from him and he would not stop. He just kept asking. And that leads me to number one is not reading a woman's body language. There are ways you can go up and approach a woman and not come off as creepy. But what this man did was he disregarded everything, all the signs of me being extremely uncomfortable. He was not reading the room. He was not reading how I was feeling. And he just was on this mission to ask me out no matter what. If you disregard someone's body language or how a girl is feeling in that moment and you're not paying attention to that, you're always going to come off as creepy. Number two. You're awkwardly staring. Now there is a difference between flirty eye contact where you lock eyes with a girl, you smile and you break eye contact or you keep looking at each other and you can tell there's like this flirty interaction happening. But if you are staring at a girl and there is no smile on your face and you're like mean mugging her and you're watching her and then when she looks at you and she looks away and then looks back and you're still staring, she is gonna be extremely uncomfortable and wanna get away from you. So for this, you wanna avoid staring. So if a girl is walking across the gym, you don't wanna be like, because that's going to come off as creepy, right? But you can make eye contact with her. You can be flirty, even go up and approach her. But if you're just standing there staring, you're going to always come off as creepy. Number three, you ask questions that are way too personal too soon. So maybe you just met this girl or it's a friend of a friend and you're talking to her and then you just ask a question that's just a little bit too personal. Immediately, it's going to make the girl taken back and be like, whoa, 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 this is like way too soon. Why is he asking me this? This is a bit creepy. We've all seen those horror movies where like the guy gets a little bit too deep too quickly and it just has some weird, awkward behaviors. That's what happens or this is how the girl is going to perceive you if you're asking kind of inappropriate questions. And number four is how you carry yourself. So if you are not well groomed, if you have like a long kind of scruffy beard with hair all down here, you look like you haven't showered, your hair is not done, maybe your nails are dirty, like she is just gonna get this ick vibe and that's gonna make you come off as creepy. She's not gonna wanna be near you, she's not gonna wanna spend time with you. Hygiene, personal style is all important because that's the first thing she's judging you on. She's seeing you and she's basing like, okay, is this guy somebody I want to talk to? Or is this somebody that I want to get away from? I know a lot of guys may be thinking, well, I'm just not going to talk to any girls then because I don't want to come off as creepy. But if you implement these things I'm talking about, your chances of coming off creepy is going to decrease dramatically. It's really all about how you portray yourself. But if this is something you struggle with, if you struggle with talking with girls, if you're struggling with going on dates, I want to tell you guys about my beast dating coaching program. We've helped over hundreds of guys transform their dating life to getting multiple dates a week to getting girlfriends, whatever their goal is, we've helped them achieve it. But don't just take it from me. Here are some guys that have joined the program. So week to week, I'm, I'm seeing uh, girls at least two, if not three times, uh, which is at m the limit of what my schedule can handle at the moment. <laughs> I didn't know when and where I was going to get a date or if it was going to work out. Now I do currently dating a girl. It's been, I think it's a fourth date. It's a girl I already knew, but we never engaged. I mean, I never made the approach and I like her, but now I can do it. I feel confident about doing it. Um, I'm dating uh, two other girls, like uh, a little bit more casually. If this is something you're interested in and you want to take your dating life to the next level, click the link in the description. And if we think you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. See you next week.